How to pass chapter 11. Let's go with weapon. If you can gather force epic and higher, then that's the best choice for this chapter. The best armor is bright row, because you have firm damage resistance, in game level upgrade speed, and each upgrade will increase max health. Dark touch, thunders and other armor skills won't help you much as the chapter has more ranged units. Talking about ranged units, you should wear Serpent Ring and Lion. Serpent Ring good with ranged units and gives you dodge. Lion Ring will help you with two arc leaders and skeleton kin. Pets as always, laser bat and flaming ghost or two flaming ghosts. It is better to take invincible bracelet. It gives you 2 and 7 seconds when you enter a room. So, you'll have time to give some damage to arc leaders before running from arrows. Take Agile Locket, because it is very good with Serpent Ring, it gives you dodge. And the last is Book, pick up green, it's a long chapter, so I think the choice is obvious. Now, I show you a few tips with recommended equipments in game, so about attack, I don't have a hero with lower attack. Anyway, I'm not showing how I'm passing this chapter. Pick up speed as your crossbow is slow. Before entering a room, don't forget to charge your crossbow. A longer distance means higher crit rate. Passive skills like strikes help you to beat a boss when you're running from his attacks, so you always make some damage. Always choose speed with Gale Force. As you can see, Gale Force is very powerful, especially with high speed. Crit and attack aren't very useful with Gale Force, as you already have high attack and higher crit over distance. So guys, that's all. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.